Oh, Elwood, you're so lovably quirky. Oh. Hi. So today I decided I'm going to go ahead and catch up on the top 100 books list. I have just one more left to review, and then I will be completely caught up in the books that I've read. So I'm going to do that today with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I don't actually have a copy of the book to hold up, which is unfortunate. And to be perfectly honest, it has been a while since I've read the book, so we'll see how much I can do. First of all, I liked this book. This was actually my first time reading it. And just because I feel like I do need to get out of the way, yes, this is an allegory of Jesus. But to be perfectly honest, it doesn't make it that overt. From what I hear, it gets really bad by the end of the series, but in this book, while you could probably guess that it's basically about Jesus, it's not really shoving it in your face or anything. That's a plus in the book's favor, and also, I love the narrator of the story. The narrator is in and of itself a character in the story. With many books, when you have a narrator, he's just telling the story. There's nothing else going on. But in this particular story, the narrator himself has a personality. So he's telling the story in his own way, and it's not just a dry telling of a story that's already happened. And I find this to be quite enjoyable. So the next question is, why is it on the list? Well, as I mentioned before, the book itself is basically a story about Jesus, but it's also not particularly overt about it. This means that the book appeals not just to Christians, but also to non-Christians. It also is set in a fantasy world, a world that is in some ways better than the world we live in, and in some ways isn't. I have the feeling it gives a lot of people that sense of adventure, and that sense of another place to visit and to strive for. And that's why I think it's on the list. And that's what I have to say about The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I'm curious as to what you think, so let me know down in the comments. And there are two days left until Christmas. See ya.